Welcome, my fellow programmers, to the second day of 30 day lead coding challenge. Problem from yesterday, day number one, was very easy, took me 19 seconds. Today I'm even better prepared because I have a timer and I can measure the time while solving problem. What I did yesterday was just to check it after the thing. Today it is happy number. I already, I already know from the forum that it's also easy. Even somebody posted a code, but I tried not to look up. I, I didn't see it. Uh, by the way, in the forum, again, somebody asks where is the next problem because they don't know time zones. Okay, uh, I'm ready with timer. I am. Happy number. Number defined by the following process. Start with any positive, replace the number by the sum of the squares of its digits, repeat the process until the number equals one. Uh, it, can it be infinite? A function to transform a number as they asked. Well, n is not negative, not zero. I'm so slow, no. Digit is n modulo 10, n divided by digit, sum plus equal digit square. Turn sum. Well, n is not 1, n is f of n. If n is 1, then return true, otherwise what? I can just make, well, let's make a lot of repetitions. Or while not repeated. Let's make it unordered. Visited. This will contain numbers that are already there. While true, n is f of n. Doesn't matter what was the first value. If visited already counts n, if it was visited, return false. Visited, insert n. If n is 1, return true. And I can never get over there. Your encode? Two minutes! Can you imagine solving a problem for two minutes? I believe that this problem is stupid because it requires assuming that this process will end quickly. But let's analyze that maybe. Accepted. What we are given is int. Ah, oh, stop. Two minutes, ten seconds, something like that. But let's go with two for fourteen. I should make some sad face for a family. Let's try a proof of correctness. Why is it fast? My complexity is O of the number of repetitions of the process times here the time to get the digits. This function, its complexity is log of n. Uh, log of current n. But there should be some claim that the sum of squares is small enough. Int has at most 10 digits. Each of them will be at most 9. So after one repetition, the number will be at most this. 8, 10. It should be even smaller than that. I claim that after first repetition and every other repetition, if you had an int, after one repetition it will be very small, up to 8, 10. And if you move between numbers of size up to 8, 10, 810, then you will make at most 800 repetitions. So I claim that it should pass even now. Even if I say for int repeat is zero, repeat is up to 820 plus plus repeat. And here, if I get over there, I say assert false. Submit, accepted. What about sync? How many repetitions I can get? Because that was a proof, that was some upper bound. 50 is enough. 10. If we have a big number, it will get to a smaller one very quickly. Assertion fa failed. 20. Sounds reasonable. I don't think that this is like logarithm of n or anything like that. It will be much harder to prove. Uh, a formal proof would be now this of what exactly this number can be, how many repetitions at most we can make. I know that after first repetition, it will be at most 810. 
I can I could iterate over all numbers up to that value and for each of them run this program. Let's copy all of that and use it. Why not? You are no, you are not in a class, so you don't need to be public. Best is zero for every n from two to eight ten. Best is max of best and is happy. I want is happy to return the number of turns. After how many it ended? Return int. Let's say wrap up to 200, but I will always return the wrap no matter what. Mm, yeah, and 200 should be impossible. Assert false. That's a strange warning. I have assert false. And the maximum is 18. For starting from number 8, 10 or smaller, we can get at most 18 repetitions plus one repetition to get from something big to 810. So I claim that you need 19 repetitions of applying the the process. Problem was quite easy, but I hope I provided you some interesting insight into what is really behind the scenes and why this solution works. And this also means that instead of my set, I could just repeat something 20 times and check if at the end I got one. I checked if I'm getting into a cycle, like from some number I will get to smaller one, or from smaller one I will get to the bigger one again, and so on forever. I wanted to be smarter about it and to detect the cycle and without knowing how many repetitions I need to write some everything proof problem, solution. That was a mistake because of that I spent two minutes instead of one. Groking the behavioral interview on educative.io, which is a free course because of the all ongoing quarantine, uh, the company decided to publish this course for free. It's about, well, behavioral interviews. I don't think I need to explain something about it. I'm not getting paid for this, uh, for, for this thing. I just think that it's cool to get something for free and Educative is platform publishing, not videos, publishing some uh, text-based courses. So also it's quite nice and convenient for programmers. I just think it's a nice opportunity for all of you. So go check it out. That would be it. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow, same time. Bye-bye. A timer. So I can uh, I can measure myself. <laughs> I can measure the time during. Well, let's go. Let's not go. I didn't kick, apparently.